strange series of seemingly linked news stories popped up recently about something called the Ark of Gabriel. It's referred to as Gabriel's instructions to Muhammad and is mentioned in conjunction with mass deaths in Saudi Arabia, Russian military operations, secret bases in Antarctica and, most recently, the leader of the Russian Orthodox Church. What is the Ark of Gabriel and why is it suddenly in the news? While substantiated references to the Ark of Gabriel seem to be non-existent, there are plenty of unsubstantiated tales about it. The most popular story is that the Archangel Gabriel, who many believe told Mary she would give birth to Jesus and dictated the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad, also gave an Ark to Muhammad to bury at a place of worship where it would not be removed until the end of the world. It's not the same as the Ark of the Covenant, which is mentioned in the Christian Bible and the Quran. That place of worship was believed to be the Grand Mosque. In Mecca, Saudi Arabia, where millions pilgrimage annually. The Grand Mosque was being expanded in 2015 when, on September 11, a crane fell, killing 107 people, including a construction crew. One rumor was that the construction crew had discovered the Ark of Gabriel and was killed by a plasma emission. Less than two weeks later, on September 24, an estimated 4,000 worshippers were killed in what was officially called a stampede and unofficially called another plasma emission linked to the Ark. The story picks up in December 2015 when unconfirmed reports arose of the Russian naval research vessel Admiral Vladimirsky arriving at the Saudi port city of Jeddah to pick up the Ark and take it to Antarctica for safekeeping, possibly in the secret Nazi UFO base there that apparently the Russian government knows the location of. Russian ships were indeed seen in the area at that time on maneuvers and the Vladimirsky had visited the port, but reportedly for R&R and supply replenishment. Fast forward to February 2016 when rumors of the Ark's movement portending the end of the world reportedly prompted Pope Francis to meet with Patriarch Kirill, the first meeting of the heads of the Roman Catholic and Russian Orthodox churches in almost 1,000 years. Parts of their meeting were secret but it was alleged that the Pope gave the Patriarch an ancient secret manuscript about the Ark of Gabriel. Where did Patriarch Kirill go after meeting with Pope Francis? To Antarctica. It was there he was photographed walking with penguins but not photographed allegedly praying with the secret document over the Ark of Gabriel at the Russian Orthodox Holy Trinity Church, the only church in Antarctica. The Ark and most likely the secret manuscript were then allegedly taken by Russian secret forces to an even more secret hideaway in Antarctica. There are a lot of holes and unanswered questions in this seemingly linked series of events, starting with the unconfirmed history of the Ark of Gabriel and ending with why sworn enemies Russia and Saudi Arabia would be cooperating to protect a religious secret weapon. This is what someone called M had to say about this story. Okay here's the deal behind the Ark of Gabriel. Russia's mysterious Ark of Gabriel weapon, now at Antarctica. This is a fact. The Russians do have it. They were willing to work with us. We needed to this Ark before the Earth gets destroyed. It is placed under the pyramids. Like a capacitor, it is used to fractalize DNA. DNA sprays out of the top of the pyramids and will be used to rebuild slash recreate the Earth. It was an ordeal in September Putin dragged his feet. I'm not sure it went to Antarctica. I think it is in Egypt. It goes in the Great Pyramid. There is rumored to be pyramids in the Antarctica but I haven't been there, so it makes me wonder. He was asked if governments are cooperating. Yes. Some are. Russia is, thanks to Snowden. He was asked by someone called Hatter. Governments know we are leaving now. M responded also Syrians are masked as Draco. There are multiple governments fighting them. Yes they have known. So it's all about fighting the Dracos who won't give up without a fight. No they aren't. They also did not want to change 150 years ago. Ample opportunity. They could have changed their ways of war and alley. Tell them about the Dracos. They took over after the Titans. Made themselves gods. Distorted history. Turned everything upside down. They came from Nibiru, I am sure. Then they went to Mars, 
destroyed it with their Luciferian experiment. Then they came here. They have bad DNA. 8D is the highest in dimensions they get. They cannot travel astrally. Only in ships. They think it is unfair for anyone to have an advantage over them. That's why they create Merkabas, sir. That's why they use drugs, astral body crap. Never trust an alien. And in my last video at the end and the deleted tweet of Buzz Aldrin. We are all in danger. It is evil itself. And what Kerry is doing in Antarctica and what do the WikiLeaks emails with the pictures from Antarctica have to do with? Is the story of the Ark true? We will keep you updated and if anyone comes across any more information on this message me. And thanks to Stephen Ventrella for finding this aerial footage. We are anonymous. We are a legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us to keep digging until the truth is known.